Benvenuti amici. Welcome to Isabella's Bella Cucina and my name is Isabella Morgetti Vicari and today I'm going to teach you this wonderful tomato marscapone sauce. Let me hear you say it. Tomato, I know you can say that. That's pomodoro in Italiano. All right, marscapone. And marscapone is actually an Italian version of a cream cheese, but it's creamier and it's got a lot more flavor and wait till you try it. So what we have here is some pancetta. We have some um, peeled or plum tomatoes. We have balsamic vinegar, salt, cayenne, fresh basilico, that's how you say basil in Italian, and some fresh garlic. Now, before we do anything else um, with the sauce, I need to get that pancetta in the saute pan. So all I want you to do is just take this and just chop it up in small pieces. Pancetta is an Italian version of bacon. It's just an Italian um, pork slices, actually, is what it is. It's got this nice, salty flavor, but it's so much better than bacon. I love it. So I've got this in small pieces, as you can see, and this is going to fry up in that saute pan in about eight or nine minutes, nice and crispy. All I want to do is drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in this pan and throw the pancetta in. It's starting to sizzle. Can you hear it? Okay, got a good stir. Got it coated with a little bit of olive oil. Just going to spread it out. Okay, so what do we have here? These beautiful plum tomatoes. All I want you to do is get your immersion blender out. Now, if you wanted to, the way my nonna used to do, she would throw her hands right in there and she'd break it up just like this the old-fashioned way. But you know what? I kind of like the immersion blender. So I'm just going to do it just like this. That's perfect. Gonna leave this here. Now, I've got a few cloves of garlic. All I'm gonna do is chop them up. As you can see, I'm slicing them up nice and fine. I love the smell of fresh garlic. By the way, I don't know if I share this with you or not, but don't forget, if you can remember to chop your garlic ahead of time, because if you let it sit for like 10 or 15 minutes, what happens is that all the enzymes start to um, come out from this garlic and actually all the health benefits happen at that time versus taking it and throwing it in the saute pan. So we're gonna leave this right here at the moment. We've got the sauce doing really well. Let's go back and check that pancetta. Oh, look at this beautiful pancetta. It's so nice and crispy. Now, you see all the fat that came from the pancetta's in the bottom of this pan. We are going to use that because it has wonderful flavor. Throw this beautiful garlic in here. I think garlic is absolutely beautiful. I want you to say l'aglio. L'aglio in Italiano is garlic. So, you have pancetta and Italian ham. You have l'aglio, which is a beautiful piece of garlic, if you were to ask me. has incredible flavor. Um, and all you're going to do, really, is wait till it starts to become fragrant right about now, and we're going to throw the pomodoro in. What's pomodoro? Those beautiful tomatoes that we were doing a little earlier that we were crushing. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. And wait till I tell you what you can do with this sauce. You're gonna love it. So what am I doing? I'm stirring this right now. And if you noticed, I didn't um, totally puree the tomatoes. So, but for example, if you like a chunkier sauce, do away with the emulsion blender, get your hands in there, break it up a little bit and throw it in. Cause that's how my Nonna would have done it. There we go, now. I've got these beautiful herbs. 
Did I tell you this basilica is from Daddy's garden? Actually, Daddy made me this beautiful plant, but for whatever reason, it doesn't look as pretty as his. So I always go back to Papa's garden and say, Papa, you have any basilica for me? And before I even have to finish that sentence, he knows what I'm wanting. Okay, look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, what do we need to do before anything else? Season it up. Here we go. Kosher salt. A little bit of crushed red pepper. And guess what? I'm going to throw in this beautiful balsamic vinegar right now. And we're going to let that cook down just a little bit. See how it darkened up that sauce a little bit? But look at what happens when we add the mascarpone. Okay, I'm going to throw these beautiful herbs in right now. And then this mascarpone cheese, I'm going to put the whole thing in just like that. And go very, very carefully stir this up. Oh, that looks beautiful. I love the creaminess in this already. Now let's talk about this sauce just for a little bit. What are we going to do with it? Well, the first thing you can do is you can put it over pasta. You can absolutely put this with pasta. But you know what else what I've done? I've taken some beautiful tomatoes, excuse me, potatoes. I've roasted them in the oven and I put the sauce on the side and I drizzled them on top and it was absolutely delicious. Let's try this sauce. Because this is almost done. Oh wow, that's delicious. The acidicness from the balsamic vinegar with the saltiness of the pancetta, with the garlic, with the olive oil, the fresh tomatoes, it is absolutely fabulous. At this very moment, we're gonna take it to a bowl and I'm gonna show you how you're gonna serve it on your table. You can see this sauce is done so quickly. All you have to do, you can serve this many different ways. This is beautiful. It is tomato. It's a creamy tomato bar balsamic mascarpone sauce. So what can you do? You can serve it with pasta, of course. But remember, you can take some beautiful baked potatoes that you had in the oven, or perhaps roasted potatoes that you had in the oven, and you can serve this with the sauce on the side. It's a fabulous, fabulous sauce to dip in. See the beautiful herbs in there? And of course, you know me, I've got to taste this. Let me get the spoon real quick. Make sure it is absolutely just right. And it sure is. Thank you for coming and sharing your time with me today. Vivere bene amici. Live well, my friends. Ciao.